Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very basic how-to. I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite tips and tricks for cleaning your brushes. I know there's a ton of videos like this already out on YouTube. This is nothing new. However, I have tried a lot of those videos and the way that they do go about cleaning and I feel like I have a couple tips and tricks that work really well for me. And I'm just feeling like really compelled to share them with you guys. It's going to be a super chill video, super easy, laid back. Uh, maybe some of these tips and tricks will help you, but if not, I hope you just maybe find therapy out of watching someone else clean their makeup brushes. Maybe in some weird twisted world, because we all hate this. But anyway, if this is the first time you're on my channel, what's up and welcome. My name is Kate, and I would love for you guys to click subscribe and join my YouTube family. Lots of fun stuff here, lots of makeup stuff, lots of beauty stuff, DIY stuff. Also, don't forget to click the bell to turn on your post notifications. That way you don't miss any of my future uploads. And now, to get on to the makeup brush cleaning tips. For soap, this is my favorite one to use. This is the Myers Clean Day Hand Soap. I love the smell of this one. This is the Bluebell scent. It's got aloe vera and olive oil in it. So a lot of times you'll see these videos where they say to mix dish soap with olive oil. This is kind of an all-in-one solution for that. So I'm just putting a few pumps onto a little tray. You could use a bowl, literally whatever you have. Here are the specimens. <laughs> I've got a lot of dirty face brushes here. That's kind of what I was focusing on today. And here is the life hack that you guys all need. It's like a three or four dollar little scrub daddy thing. You've probably seen this on Shark Tank. It's this little smiley sponge. And who would have ever thought that it is so perfect for cleaning your makeup brushes? I honestly have no idea what possessed me to try and use this to clean my makeup brushes, but I'm so glad I did. It's just rough enough to where it gets your brushes clean, but it doesn't like tear your brushes up or anything like that. So in hot water, it becomes really, really uh, soft. And then in cold water, it stays really firm. So obviously it's great for dishes, but it's also great for makeup brushes. So I'm just wetting that down and then putting a little bit of soap on top of that as well. And then we're gonna get ready to start cleaning our brushes. First off, I have one of these flat foundation brushes. I always find these very, very hard to clean at the base, like where the brush handle meets the brush fibers. So I'm just going to dunk that into my soap and the brush is obviously wetted. And then I'm just going to swirl this around onto the scrub daddy. Now, I'm gonna just be real with you. I feel like I am a little bit rough on my makeup brushes when I'm cleaning them because I just get very, anal for lack of a better word about cleaning my brushes i want them to be squeaky clean by the time that i'm done i don't clean them very often i feel like i'm a very average girl when it comes to that i don't think we ever clean our brushes as much as we should i'm now going to just rinse the brush try and keep it somewhat pointed down when you've got the water going so that the water doesn't seep up into the glue that holds the hairs and bam look how clean that is even right up to the handle i got it perfectly clean because I was able to scrub it with the Scrub Daddy. And no, this is not sponsored, but Scrub Daddy, if you wanna hit your girl up, you know where to find me. <laughs> uh, but look how clean it is, you guys. It's just awesome. Then I lay them down flat to dry, and this works great with any kind of brush. I love it specifically for foundation and concealer brushes, though, because I feel like those get the most grimy and hard to clean. So I'm gonna do this again with a Morphe Y6, I believe this is. It's a very, very good flat top kabuki brush for foundation. And you'll just see me kind of repeating this process. I mean, you guys, come on. You can't deny this. Look how much it is getting off of the foundation brush. The other thing I love is doing what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of taking the brush sideways and cleaning the side. I hate it when you get foundation or concealer or anything else kind of stuck on the side of the brush. And even though it may be clean, it just still looks dirty. I love that you can kind of rub this on the side of the scrub daddy. And again, this is just a really, really cheap solution to some of the other products that are sold for cleaning makeup brushes. And I do own some of those. They work fantastic. This is a little bit more aggressive on the brushes, but it's also cheaper. And I don't know, it hasn't torn any of my brushes up and I've been doing this for like months and months and months and months. So um, it's like three or four bucks. You don't need to get one of those fancy gloves, the fancy little mat, you don't need any of that. Just get you a $4 scrub daddy, girl.
All right, so the question I know you guys are all wondering right now is does this thing ever get clean? Watch this. I'm just rinsing it. And because it is a sponge, it's kind of a plasticky material, it doesn't hold any of that grime. It washes clean literally every single time. So I'm gonna show you even on a concealer brush. I, oh my gosh, you guys, I am so nasty with my concealer brushes, if we're just being honest. I use these to carve up my eyebrows and I, I put off cleaning for a long time. So there's a lot of concealer coming off of this brush, but you are soon going to see the brush's true colors shining through. That always makes me think of the movie Trolls. Anybody else? <laughs> so just rinse your brush again and then bam, we have a clean concealer brush. Look at that. Now I know you are wondering, does this work on sponges? Yes, it absolutely does. So for soap, I use the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid. I have not found anything that works better to clean my beauty blenders, whether they are the true OG beauty blender or just a regular beauty sponge. The one I'm cleaning right now, I believe is from L'Oreal. Not 100% certain on that, but it just cleans them so flawlessly. So I just use that to cleanse and then I use the little butterfly insert that comes with the solid cleanser. And then yes, I rinse a little bit and break out the scrub daddy because it works so well to get that stubborn little stain off the bottom of the sponges, you know, where you just pounce your foundation into it. Look at that. Even though I was just cleaning forever, look how much is still coming off. I really don't know what the science is, but I kind of feel like a genius. So I hope you guys go try this out. If you do, let me know how it works for you. The other thing I wanted to mention is spot cleaners. If you don't get your brushes clean to your absolute perfection standard. I really recommend the Cinema Secrets or the It Cosmetic It's Your Brush Love. You just spray that on or dunk it in and then just look how squeaky clean. This also is great for in between like deep cleanings. So I also super recommend those for you guys as well. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to share this with your friends that are makeup junkies because we all know that a beauty lover could use a good brush cleaning life hack. So love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.